Salutations, my fellow nerds and others alike. This is General Hona, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cube in Blender. You know what? Wow, I can't believe I screwed up that much. I meant a dice in Blender, or a die, to be correct. So, uh, I'm going to have this little red transparent die in front of me. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make that. And we're going to be it to where one is on this side. Um, let me see, where was it? One is on this side, two is on this side, and three is on top. So it's like one, two, three. So now let's go ahead and actually make it to where it isn't totally uh, flat. So we can do um, what we can do is now we can take um, do it like this. Oh, go ahead and just subdivide like that. Okay. Control R and then go about uh, maybe about twenty is good. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, and go ahead and do twenty again. So that'll make twenty loop cuts. Twenty, and that should be good. There we go. So now it's all nice and subdivided. So now it'll make a nice. Oh, that's solidified. We want to go subdivision surface. And now it'll give it kind of a beveled edge, and it'll look a lot nicer. Um, so after that's done, we can go ahead and apply that. So now you, you can see we have a totally black square, totally fine, and it's perfect. Now, let's go ahead and actually go to the front, and press 5 on the number pad. Now we can go to the next scene. Let's go ahead and get a sphere out of here. Sphere out of here. So... Uh, we're just going to make it equal to one of these blender units. So, I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Alright, so we're going to go by a 5x5 five five grid. So, we're going to start off with 1. We're going to press Shift D to duplicate it. We're going to put our 2 right here. And then, we're going to copy these over. And then we're going to copy them again. But now we're going to do rotate Z 180. So now it's not what I wanted, actually. But that will be perfect for three. So I'm just going to bring this over there. Do that. Now we can just shift Z, X, and then it's right there. Now we can do shift Z, 1. Rotate. 180. Good enough. <laughs> Alright, so that's four. Now we need our fifth one. Uh, boop, boop. Just making sure that there was nothing there. So, uh, I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna move that over. So that's five, and now we want six, so... Gonna do that. Shift Z Z, Shift D Z. I'm actually gonna size it. Uh, no. Okay, it's kind of odd. Uh, it'll all be smaller too, so don't worry. Shift D. Uh, Shift D, please, please. Okay. Um. Actually, those are not how it's supposed to be, is it? I don't know. It worked before. But we'll see how it happens. We're not going to be seeing these anyway. Hopefully. Uh, maybe a little bit. So, let's go ahead and bring over our one. Two here. And now, since this one's basically just one, we can kind of just move it around by itself. We're going to get it aligned with the Z axis first. This also means it's going to be aligned with the Y axis. So, yep, there it is. And now we're going to go we're gonna move this to where the X axis is totally aligned. There we go. Nope. Cursor to selected to cursor. Actually, duh. Dummy. It's, <laughs> that's how you do it, dummy. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. Control Z. Now we 
can go to top view, move this out, make sure it's right in the middle. Uh, this little middle part is right there. And good, it's right on the edge. So now we can go to our cube, add modifier, and then boolean. Boolean is, uh, actually, let me say it. Die. Die dot blend. We want to go ahead and click the thing sphere right there. And not what we wanted, but we can do difference. Just waiting. My computer isn't that good when it's recording, so yeah, and then we'll press apply. Actually, you know what? If it does crash, that's still totally fine. See? Now I got this big hole. Not what I wanted, actually. Um, to be totally honest, I did not want that because I totally forgot to make the uh, thing much, much smaller. Ooh. Man, my computer is not liking what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it is not liking any bit. And I feel sad for it. Um, I feel as if that is almost the smallest I can get it without the entire computer crashing. <laughs> I'll see if I can get it to do smaller. Uh... Nope. Okay. Smallest I'm gonna get ya. So yeah, it's 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 kind of trial and error. <laughs> it, it's kind of hard to do this sometimes to get it small enough to fit, you know, that area. You know what? You know how much of a dummy I am? Such a dummy that <laughs> I totally forgot that hey I put in nine dots and set six, 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 six. Um, yeah. Now this we can just move to the second layer, and actually no, we should actually probably move that to the third layer. Yay! Because, yeah, because. Now we'll just move this to the second layer, and we'll go ahead and put that there. We can move this. Z ninety. Now we'll press S. And now we'll just position it. So... A little bit bigger, probably. I'd say that's about good. Yeah. Um, probably the closest I'm gonna get it anyway. Uh, so that's... Yeah, that's, that's kind of correct. There's a... Yeah. So, actually, let's press Control J. That'll group them together, so let's do a boolean again. Now we can go ahead and press that, and the slowness begins. <sighs> if it was like that, that would be interesting. <clears throat> Alright, now we can do difference. And I think that's good, so we can apply. And let's see what we have. Hopefully the computer doesn't crash, and boom! Now let's quick save, and I need to Okay, now we can move this. from here, and our result isn't quite nice, actually. So now we can go ahead and move these off to, or move these off to another layer. Uh, layer th two, three, actually, layer three would be nice. Did I move those? No, oh, okay, that's, that's cool. Um, now we need uh, three, so go ahead and move those over. We take X90. 
I have a I have a dice right here, so um okay, how is that supposed to be oriented? Yeah, that's perfectly correct. No, uh okay. No okay, roll see ninety X ninety, sorry. Uh P ninety. Um, pressure center, uh, selection, cursor, and look what I've done. <laughs> look what I have just done. Control J, do that. I uh, totally didn't think of that until now. Nope, not even. <laughs> just like, not even. Okay, s I am done with your poopy. Please, cursor to center. Now, selection to cursor. Forget it! <laughs> okay, control, okay. Control Shift Alt C. That will do origin to G. Did that even do it? Uh, let's just hope. Okay, shift that is action to character. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Now we can actually go to front view. Now we can go up and do it until it goes to the middle. Good enough. And make that a little bit bigger. And I think we're good. So now we can do another Boolean. Boolean. And we'll make sure just now to put on difference. Uh, sphere 04, 004, just so that, uh, you know, I don't have to go through the pain of control, uh, apply, and that should be almost halfway done with getting the dice, alright, so now we can move to the third layer, and I have our dice, um, not too bad, looks like ice. Uh, so now let's actually get on to ma doing a material for it. And what's perfect is, is that this selects it already. So let's go ahead and actually make these a nice, uh, let's go mix shader here. Click glossy. And then click. <laughs> Text. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh. Uh, sorry, I gotta go ahead and let me turn this on silent. Oh my gosh, gotta go fast, baby. Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, okay, so now we can make these uh, almost completely black. Uh, make glossy black, this black, and we want this to have no roughness. Um, we want this not to be full black, or else it'll, you know, because this is basically what the glossiness is going to look like. Um, sign, if I were to do control I, that would select everything else, and now let's just now let's make this white. So, you want this to be a glossy thing like the other one. So, uh, glossy. And I don't think we're going to have to change anything except for, let's see, uh, diffuse. I don't think we're going to have to change anything except for this. So, sign, and now we can go out of edit mode, and we can look at what, uh, nope, actually, nope, not done, not done. <laughs> so let's make a plane here, and make a little scene most. Um, let's go ahead and make this really, really big, <laughs> and we have a light up here that came with the scene. Use nodes, nope, we want an aerial lamp, aerial lamps work much better. And there we go, there is our dice. Now if we wanted, we can go ahead and, uh, with the dice that I have. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move this. Uh, move to the layer below. And we can actually go ahead and make a new texture. And this one will be um, a mixed shader one, but instead of diffuse and glossy, we'll be doing glass and gloss and glossy. Um, with glass, basically what that means is it's just a transparent, um, you know, uh, texture. It doesn't actually mean that it's glass. It, or, well, it can, but it doesn't have to. So, let's go ahead and make it a little bit rough, but not too rough. And we can assign, and now control I, and we can select this to be the material instead. So now we can look, and we've now made this cool little dice. Um, now, if we did want this to be more like the dice that I have, what we would have to do is do more booleans. So, we'd have to do... At least, if you want to be lazy, 
or well, that's not the right word, is it? You can at least do six and five. Uh, actually, I can probably do these at the same time. <laughs> wow, that is that is way more lazy than me just saying. Uh, don't be lazy. <laughs> Uh, okay, these are actually supposed to be a little bit more together. Uh, um, give me a second. Oh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting texts and I, I, I do know. So, we'll go ahead and move these over to the first layer. We'll just move it over to the first layer, because why not? And then we can just edit. Nah, let's just move them over to the bottom layer. Because that's where we mainly want them. Uh, okay, now we'll just move these above the camera line. We'll go ahead and, and move this right. Uh, we'll go ahead and move these right where on the other side, and we'll kind of just make this fit, um, yeah, that's just about where it is, sh or it should be, um, whoa, these are not actually together, if you look at it, um, that's weird, I'm now wondering why this is not correct, okay, you want them to be as, you know, as on top of each other as possible, uh, because you want them to... We want them to be as. Oh, actually, we'll just leave those. Yeah, because you don't want them to be, like, totally off, and. I hope that's right. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's, like, not exactly. Um, Control J. Actually, we do not want to put those together yet. Because we want to go ahead and put these in the right position, too. Okay. These are not in the correct position. Okay, we guess we're gonna have to delete those. I don't know what's what's up with that. That's kind of weird. That's that's really weird. Uh, now we can go wazi wazi, and we can put those. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm putting it on the right side. I'm trying to be as accurate as possible with these. So. All right. Okay, that's just about it. Um, now we actually need it to be correct. Alright, so we're just about there. Um, control 1. Yep. So now we just want to select these. Control J. And now we can go ahead and instead of doing an entire boolean on just two separate objects, we can do okay, difference and select object sphere. That one. <laughs> and now we'll just wait. 
And I think that's it. Uh, fly. And we'll move those over to the third one. And now let's see what we've got. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Looks nice. So now we can go ahead and go edit mode. And now these guys are selected. So now we want those to also have. <sighs> Fine. Wanted to have this texture, so we assign. Just make sure. Assign. To click it twice. And now we can go ahead and see what it looks like. Let's click save. And there. So in the back, you can kind of see little, you know, background things. And yeah, so you can either have it like this or have it like this. Um, personally, I like this one better than the red dye, but I was just showing off that, you know, you can do it like this if you'd like. So yeah, if, uh, here's a recap of basically what I did. Um, oh well, here, just wait, I'm not even done yet, am I? <laughs> so, now to the rendering settings. So, uh, for rendering, samples basically is how good the picture will look. 500 is very good. Um, doesn't take too long unless you have a ton of crap in your scene, then I'd expect at least maybe 30 minutes to maybe an hour or something like that. But usually it takes about like 10 minutes for it to render, even maybe even less. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the first scene, since I like that one a little bit better. So now we can go ahead and look at uh, the clamp. Clamp is basically for straight glass. Um, or well, I mean just glass. It's there's going to be little white dots that may appear, and that's because of the light hitting it, and it's like so bright, or sometimes it's not just that so bright. It just kind of comes there, and you know it doesn't make it look very good. Uh, it happens a lot in indoor scenes, like if you have a closed off space, you're probably going to get quite a bit of those little white dots. So if you do have a closed scene, go ahead and put this clamp indirect, as uh, so yeah. If it says if not zero, the maximum. For indirect sample, higher values will be scaled down to avoid too much, too much noise and slow convergence at the cost of accuracy. So basically, it gets rid of a lot of the noise in the scene. Uh, noise is basically like, like the little dots and random kind of weird <clears throat> fuzzies that show up in the scene. Uh, that's basically to get rid of that. So uh, I don't have to put that up now since I don't really see anything right here. Um, then there's other things down here that I don't really mess with because you don't really have to. Um, then there's what you like to make your picture. Um, PNG is probably the best thing that you can get if you don't have, um, like if you use Windows Photo Viewer for everything, you'd probably use PNG. Um, but OpenEXR is extremely good, um, but I don't have anything for that, so I can't really do that. Um, also, if you want this effect right here so that it doesn't render the outside and makes it rendering a little faster, Go ahead and click border. Now, uh, if you don't know what this means, it means it'll only render 50%, if it's at 50%, 50, yeah, percentage scale for render resolution. You want it to be at 100% so that you can have the full uh, picture and not just half the resolution. Um, I learned that way too late into rendering, so yeah, I didn't have too much for that. Uh, you can do image editor, full screen, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else you can mess with. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to let this render. I'll be right back when it renders. So, this thing is just about done. Um, rendering. It's got 78% on it, right? 79. But it is basically rendered. So, uh, when you actually get the thing, it, if you did actually put this up to 100%, uh, it should be rendering at, like, this big. Um, but, which means that yeah, it's rendering at the 19, 1920 by 180. So, yeah. Once this is done, you know, basically that. So, uh, here's a recap of what I did. So, I showed you how to use the subdivision modifier um, to make things have a beveled edge. There's also the bevel modifier. Um, no doubt, there's a bevel one, but... I wanted to use a subdivision because I wanted to use that for 
the the boolean so yeah I also showed you how to use the boolean how to use the difference uh, mode to make little tiny bumps or not tiny but how to make bumps in the actual uh, cube which usually couldn't be made with edit mode but it could it could also have been made with uh, sculpt mode but I wanted to be a little bit more accurate and make use actual spheres um, I showed you how to make a glossy uh, texture material uh, how to assign materials that is uh, when I was trying to make the you know s uh, circles be black and the actual square black uh, white and uh, how to make a glass but glossy material so yeah I mean it's pretty cool right yeah this is pretty cool um, and uh, I showed you a couple um, shortcuts that you could use uh, so yeah hopefully you can use this for something or you know I hope this thing proved uh, somebody's skill with blender so uh, yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like leave a comment uh, you can go on my DeviantArt which uh, I'll leave a link in the comments for that where you can actually um, download this picture and if uh, you like it that much, for some reason, you can actually buy a print or, you know, something else. <laughs> and uh, give me money. Give me your money, to be specific. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!